It's Sunday morning. Welcome to Inside the Show. Starting out west in the American League, the Angels grabbed 13 hits in the game as they got a win over the Astros in Houston, 8-6. The Twins got 12 hits in this one as they defeated the A's in Oakland, 3-2. The Texas Rangers had 12 hits as a team as they nabbed the extra innings win over the Mariners, 6-4. The Pittsburgh Pirates combined for 10 hits as a team as they took down the Rays in St. Petersburg, 6-5. The Red Sox beat the Blue Jays in Toronto, 3-2. The New York Yankees put together 10 total hits as they beat the O's in Baltimore, 6-4. Dallas Keuchel earned the victory while striking out 11, helping the White Sox push past the Royals, 6-4. The Indians got 11 hits overall as they defeated the visiting Tigers, 6-4. The Miami Marlins racked up 11 hits as a team as they defeated the visiting Fightin' Phils 10-9. The Washington Nationals put up 16 hits on the day as they manhandled the Mets 9-3. The Cincinnati Reds hit three long balls as they cruised to the win over the Cardinals 7-0. The Cubs took a victory against the Brewers in Milwaukee 4-3. The Diamondbacks took down the visiting Braves 4-1. The Giants allowed only five hits in the game as they pushed past the Dodgers at Chavez Ravine 3-1.
afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Houston Astros. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Josh James will be on the mound for the Strohs. What's your take on him, Dan? This ought to be interesting to see how this guy bounces back from last year when he had an ERA over four. I know his team is expecting better things from him this year, and we'll see if he can continue to get a little bit better, limit the number of walks, and also limit the number of hits per nine innings. Now in the box, David Fletcher, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch of the at-bat. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. It's official now. They will not go 162-0 and as they were handed their first loss of the season last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. This is a big one here, d -Row. They've won two of the first three of this series. This swing game here, you'd like to win three out of four. I know what you're at this point, but, boy, a split certainly would not be a good for this ball club right now. Yeah, Dan, to win the first two games, all right, you can live with dropping the third game of the set, but you don't want to end this 2-2. You work too hard early to not win this series. And a great day for baseball here. 81 degrees at first pitch. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Here it comes. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he fouls this one off. Another payoff pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. And the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. And that's just an incredible job at the plate by the leadoff man there. Not only did he make the pitcher throw a ton of pitchers and bust his tail, but he also won the battle and earned a free pass. Stepping in, Mike Trout, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the belt, the pitch. At the ball. Trout is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. The Guriel, and they get them both. Batting third, the third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. In now is Anthony Rendon. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. First pitch coming. Here it is. Aye. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here. 0 and 2. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Skied into straightaway right. And he will reach up to make the catch. Oh, what a play that time as that ball had extra bases written all over it. But with that catch, the inning is over.
Matt Andrees will be on the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. These Angels, as they enter play here this afternoon, fellas, they come into this one in good spirits, fresh off their first victory of the new campaign last time out. Hey, Matty V, you know, if there's such a good thing as splitting a series, dear old, this is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like nothing more than to split this series and win game four. Yeah, Bobby Cox always used to say, you got to take care and beat the teams you're supposed to beat and then play 500 against the really good teams. They have a chance to do that exactly today. Drop the first two, but if they can win today, they split this series and move on. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. He's faced Matt Andrees previously. He's one for three. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. That's Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Fooled him just enough with that, that pitch to get him to go around, yeah, according to the bad. umpire. Sometimes okay. it can be really tough for these oh, big, strong bad. guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Here's the first pitch to him. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Bases are empty here with two men out. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. A bouncer to the left side. Yeah, a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. All ones that count. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Here's the 0 and 2. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. 
Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Popped up. Bregman has room in foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. In tight with the slider, two and two. Back-to-back -back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all on the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hit in the air to shallow center. Springer coming on. He's there and records the first down. That is good. The left fielder, number eight, Justin Upton. Justin Upton, the next to hit. He's been productive at the plate in the series with six hits coming into this one. First pitch on its way to Upton. And not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Nope. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. One ball, two strikes, yeah. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in one of the best two-strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And he falls behind now, 2-0. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. No score here as we play inning number two. Here's a pop-up now. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Stepping up to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Alvarez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. That it's not good. a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. Hit the other way out toward right field. Goodwin is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. That is good. The center fielder. Here's George Springer swinging it well in the series so far at a 4 for 10 clip. First pitch of the at bat. Now, this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. And the Astros have their first hit of the contest. The two out hit means Carlos Correa will bat this inning. 
Boy, so Not frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d row and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Carlos Correa is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else. But he should have pulled the trigger. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Just a touch outside, one and two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. And the inning is over. One left for Houston. We'll move to the third with no score. Stepping into the box, Matt Thice. Seven, eight, nine. The bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Matt Thice. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in a count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in the one two count, you might be sitting off speed, and what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. One and one to Jason Castro. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Now the 2-1. He is in there for the second strike. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And now pitch on the way. Nope, ball one. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Ball 
And this pitch misses. It's two and one now to the Angel right fielder. Lined hard toward right center. Springer is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Angels go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He's driven in three runs on three hits so far in the series. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there at the knees as he authors a strike to the leadoff man. Nothing in one. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Mm, chased a bad ball up out of the zone two and two. It's funny that pitch. I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. And another foul ball. Down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. The 2 2 one more time. Hit back toward the mound. And this is going to get on through in the center, a leadoff hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Digging in, Garrett Stubbs. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Here's the first pitch to him. A line shot to third base. And the runner gets back. No double play. The left fielder, number 23, Michael Wesley. So striding forward now, Michael Brantley. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. I think this all stems from the fact that they're trying to make sure the guy at the plate doesn't hurt them at all. And with that base open at first, they might opt to just put him on. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Reddick, the runner at second with one away. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. Simmons has it, and there are two away now. Third baseman number two, Allen Bregman. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Runner in scoring position with two gone. As a look, now the pitch. No, inside. Ready with the 1-0. Hit back up the middle. 
Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Astros leave one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping into the box, David Fletcher. He's two for ten in the series coming into today. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Reddick is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. Coming to the plate now, Mike Trout comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Counts even to Trout, 1 and 1. Fastball well off the plate for a ball. Angel still looking for hit number one in the ballgame. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Hey, that's the modern game right now, north-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's oh, just that's what they did right there. Big strikeout, the keep that guy off the base path. Red go. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Now the 2-1. Is swung on and missed and that's strike two it's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high that could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters here now the 2-2 is looked at and the count moves full 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter but I think he'll be careful here shoot for the corner and if you miss and you walk him so what that's better than him putting one in the seats Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. And I'm sure the manager is just oh, fine with that. Good. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger good. like that to the end Show and end up walking him than oh, serving one up where he can really hurt you. Shohei Otani digging in next. Man at first after the two-out walk. As a look, now the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. 
lifted the other way out to left center. Brantley on the move. And the Halos have their first hit of the game. Now back, left field. Left field. Up field. Here's Justin Upton now. As he will take a look at a fastball in there. As that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0-1. He's 0-1 thus far. Ready with the 0-1. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. Angels strand a couple. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Ready for another chance. Jose Altuve. Okay. Altuve. Here comes the first pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The batter, number 44. Designated hitter, your dog. Alvarez. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Now the 1-0. Swing and a liner. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. The first baseman, number 10, Yulietsky. Guriel. Ready now, Yuli Guriel. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch of the at bat. Popped him up. Seiss has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. And we're back in Houston. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Thank you, Heidi. And and the pitch up and away to start the inning it's 1-0 Simmons stands 6-2 as you see him in the right handed box this is the final year of his current deal so he'll be a free agent at season's end some guys only get to free agency one time in their career this guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? How about it? The first base. Matt. Fine. Now at the plate, Matt Theis looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now some action out in the Houston bullpen as it appears both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Oh. 
And this is high, a ball and a strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Full count still. The bouncer to the left side. Bregman gloves it. Throw on to first or get him. Score it 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. And now for the Angels, Jason Castro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone into the upper deck. A solo home run for Jason Castro. First home run of the campaign for him as the Angels take a one to nothing lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. So now to the plate, Brian Goodwin. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. 0. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. A ball and a strike. Boy, he center cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location no matter how hard you're throwing. The 1-1 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. The 1-2. Matt Bolton. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Now the three and two pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Ready for another shot now. David Fletcher. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And prior to the first pitch, he'll look to first. And he'll dive back in. He's set. Here it comes. And he lays off there. 1-0. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. 
this pitcher is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brantley is under it. And that ends the inning. Angels hit the board first thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the fifth, and the Angels lead it here 1 0. And we're back in Houston. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, thanks, Heidi. George Springer, the next to hit. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Now here's the pitch. And he takes ball one. Fouled away. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. The 1 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really oh, seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges Hello. them up in the zone, Go they don't have an answer for it. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. A ball of no strikes. Flied out in his first half bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. 2 and 0. Bases are empty, one man out. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Well, of all the guys in this lineup, he's definitely the guy I'd be cautious with, especially with a one run lead. No surprise that he's treading lightly right here. Now the 3-0 offering. And he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings. A four-pitch walk here. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. So a runner at first with one man gone, and that brings up the former gold lover Josh Reddick. Waiting and now the pitch. High fly ball out to deep right field. Racing back the right fielder. And they take the lead. It's gone. A two run home run here for Josh Reddick. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Astros take the lead. It's two to one. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one.
Into the box. Garrett Stubbs. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. And that pitch misses in the dirt and it's 2-0 oh now. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2-0 and oh as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. Two runs, three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. This one's flared toward left center. Simmons ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The left fielder, number 23. Michael Brantley. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. No hits to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey! Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Count now a ball and a strike. 1-1. So one, one. one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Soft liner towards center. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. Two out hit. That'll bring Alex Bregman to the plate as well. As the pitching coach heads out for the mound, I think this is probably just a case of giving your guy a chance to catch his breath, pump him up a little bit, let him know that he's got it under control. In now, Alex Bregman as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 0 1 pitch. Hey. Still no balls and two strikes. Fouled off. The next 0 2. A runner on first with two away. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Dan, count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. Two, two, oh. He has great bat the ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack zero of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Line drive base hit. Brentley rounds third and is digging for the plate. The tag, and he's safe as they extend their lead to two. That's a nice piece of hitting right there, Dan. He went heater up in the zone and then tried to drop the off speed, but he was on it. But Mark, that's the oldest trick in the book, right? He used one pitch to set up the other. This guy wasn't having any part of that. Standing in, Jordan Alvarez. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. From the stretch. 
it's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Now the 1-0. Oh. Well, a time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Three runs already home here. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Jaime Maria will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Jaime Maria. Now the, the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel Yuli rolled FG. slowly down the third baseline. Yuli and how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch and the inning is over. But they manage to bat around as nine men come to the plate and six of them score. Five innings complete. Astros lead this one six to one. Framber Valdez is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. New inning set to get underway. Digging in now, Mike Trout. He went down on strikes last time up. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Now another 0-2. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and count 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Standing in now, Anthony Rendon. As he'll take a look at ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Rendon playing here in his age 29 season. He's in the midst of his eighth major league season. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 
every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batter. Designated hitter. Johei Otani. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Shohei Otani. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's out. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ground ball right into the shift. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Hey, Dan, this guy's having a monster series on the road. Were you aware of the home road split? I think every player is. And sometimes it's a matter of being either comfortable on the mound or comfortable in a batter's box in some visiting ballparks. And some guys, quite frankly, like it better on the road than they do at home. At the plate, Justin Upton. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Outside for a ball, one and one. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. And he takes three ball three, so it's a full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Angels leave one. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Stepping up now, George Springer. And she'll be the one leading things off for Houston in the sixth. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fouled away. And there's ball one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Maria, 23 years old. He's in his third season as a major league player. The 2-1 home. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first the out. Not shortstop. Carlos Correa. One away for the Astros here in the sixth. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count, make the pitch, or waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. So here's Josh Reddick, and it's fouled away. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Oh. 
One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. One out and a runner on second base. Now a ball hit towards Simmons at short. He's got it in time to first, and there are two away. Now batter, the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. So striding in, Garrett Stubbs. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. Eight. Oh, and one. And he one takes and this one high, one and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. This pitch is popped up. Fletcher has got it, and the side is retired. One left for Houston. They lead it 6-1. to one. All set for the start of the inning. Settling in now, Andrelton Simmons. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Oh. The pitch. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Looked like he might have got squeezed a little bit okay. right there, and you the know he's thing. talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Digging in once again, Matt Theis. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. From the stretch. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Nobody out, runner on first. And that misses one and one. Lays off the fastball low, and it goes to two balls and a strike. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. The 2 1 home. Talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. 
digging in. Jason Castro. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Here's a two seamer inside to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Oh. First and second here with nobody out. Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Well, the Angels have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. A one one. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. The one two fouled off. The next one two pitch. Right side, but it's well fouled. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Oh. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch now unless back. it's really what? moving. So that one well, must have had some real good late life. Into the box now, Brian Goodwin. This he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. One and no pitch on the way. Nope. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2 0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Here's a fly ball well hit. Back goes Reddick to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The batter number 22, second baseman, David. Ready now for L.A., David Fletcher. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw on to first. He'll be in time, and a good chance for the Angels goes for not as the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Bottom of the inning now. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Michael Brantley. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First offering on its way. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. The 1 0 home is a changeup that drops below the knees for a ball. Into the corner and slicing foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Here comes the 2-1 to Brantley. 
There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. Alex Bregman is on deck. Now the payoff pitch home. And he popped him up. Simmons into shallow left. He can't get to it. This one's down. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft now liner, but leadoff man on usually poses Alex. problems. Bregman. to the plate now Alex Bregman and he fouls this one off good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike Ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Into the box, Jordan Alvarez. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. set and the 1 0 pitch shoots this one over to first a diving try but he can't haul it in it's through for a base hit and they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet but the bases are loaded with one away Ryan Buchter was called upon to pitch really needing that double play ball bases are loaded here with only one man out number 46 Ryan Buchter So here's Yuli Gurriel. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. First delivery to him on the way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Buchter is among a dying breed, those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Heading out towards shallow right. Goodwin's in pursuit, but he can't get to it, and this might clear the bases. And this will get all the way to the wall now. 
And the run is in to score from second. It's an 8-1 to one ball game. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another. Some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. So now to the plate, George Springer, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. a look now the pitch hit the other way out toward right field boy and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases he pulls into second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play yeah man credit to this offense they've been swinging the sticks well all game long and it just continues here with a two rbi hit some days the hitting gods are simply just smiling down on you Trying to pick things up where he left off. Carlos Correa, a hit in two tries for him so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. And now we see a right-hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Two mid-90s fastballs and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball... Are you finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed? Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Up next to the after. The Striding in for Houston, Josh oh. Reddick. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. He's set and the pitch. 4-1. Oh, Line drive to left. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Boy, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Now at the plate, Garrett Stubbs trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. From the stretch. And that misses ball one. In there, one and one. Ball and he two. lays off for a ball, two and one. Two one and a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at 3-1, and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Got three Two out with the man at first.
And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Justin Anderson comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Anderson. Michael Brantley will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball one, no strike. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Two men are on with two men out. Two and no to Brantley. Anderson. A native Texan. He was taken in the 14th round during the 2014 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Up and out over the plate, but a cold strike, 2-1. and one. From the stretch. Still even at two and two. Two down runners at first and second. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience and it's full three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Here comes the payoff pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Trout giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. All in all, ten men come to the plate and five score. Eighth inning coming up. The Astros lead it 11 to 1. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Mike Trout. And the pitch. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Popped up. Therefore, it is Guriel, and there's one gone. The third baseman, number six. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers, and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. At the plate, Anthony Rendon. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. The 1 0. That's outside. Up and in. Big danger now. It's 3 0. Winging away and maybe a bit too anxious there. Still ahead in the count, three and one. One out, nobody on. Swung on by Rendon, and this is sent a deep left. Gone!
Anthony Rendon connects on a solo shot. First home run of the campaign for him, but they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. In now, Shohei Otani. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's 2 for 3 and looking for more here. And a high strike there. It's 1 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Hanging curveball taken, though, for a second strike. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3-2. and two. Due next is Justin Upton as he gets loose in the on-deck circle. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. The next 3-2. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Coming to the plate now, Justin Upton. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Gotta lock this A.B. in. To second for one. Over to Gurriel for an inning-ending double play. So one run on one base hit, the home run. No errors and no one left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Astros 11 and the Angels 2. Striding in, Alex Bregman. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Alex Bregman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Count one and oh. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. The 1-0 home is taken strike one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. And it's fouled away. That Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Now a shot sent off to the right side, but foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Fouled off. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough game for him now at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. At the plate, Jose Altuve. He swings and lines it to left. Lands in for a base hit, and he's three for five in this one. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Your dog, Alvarez. At the 
plate now, Jordan Alvarez. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The 1 0 is taken below the zone for a ball. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2 0 on the way. Popped him up. Rendon is there. Two gone. The first big thing, number 10, Julietti. So two gone now in the Houston eighth and digging into bat next the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. First pitch of the at bat and a fastball is in there for strike one. Comes set and the 0 1. Misses for ball one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. A runner on first with two away. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Astros leave one. And it remains an 11 to 2 ball game. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Now the pitch. Ball, that's down. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And he fouls this one off. Another 2-2. Two, two. And he lays off, so it's full now, 3-2. and two. Hey, this has been an epic at-bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. 3-2 pitch. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him as it's now down to an eight run ball game. Well, one of the narratives of today's game has been driven by the long ball. We've seen these squads go deep a combined five times in this one. 
Matty V, this is turning into Home Run Derby Part 2. Dero, five bombs already in this one. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack for both teams right here. A lot of mislocations right out over the heart of the plate, and neither side is missing. Austin Pruitt will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. To the plate now, Matt Thice. Matt. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. This game might be over for all intents and purposes, but somebody forgot to tell this guy. He's a grinder, and he's going to approach every at bat like it's his last. Does it again here and delivers a double into the gap. Into the box, Jason Castro. Whoa, yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He went deep back in the fifth. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 2-0. Three balls, no strike. <laughs> and a good comeback there. It's three and one. Down to three and one. A runner at second, nobody out. Back up the middle. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. At the plate, Brian Goodwin. He flew out in his last at bat. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. One out and a runner on third. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Ready with the one and one. Now a hard liner towards short. Oh, and he can't hang on. The batter number 22. Second base. He's in. Stepping in now, David Fletcher. He grounds it sharply to third. Bregman has it. Altuve for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Look, it's easy. You don't have to look any further than the fifth inning to see where this game was decided. They put together a big rally and did everything down the stretch to secure this win. 11-3 the final score in this contest. The Houston Astros slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Josh James gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he gives up only two hits in five innings of work. Matt Andrees permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Astros, 11 runs, 15 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Angels, three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base.
time of the ball game, three hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.